Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for the final video. Well, technically the final. Um, I, I do have the other two videos coming out over the weekend just because I didn't release them during the week. I think that is the Birder and the Captain Ginyu, I think it was. Um, but anyway, this is currently Friday night. I am going to be talking about the Rikum Physical Special Training, the Ginyu Force Special Training for this character. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, everything is the same as the other events. You pretty much run through this event uh, multiple times, about the 30 times. Typically, by the time we get you like 25th to 30th, you usually have all the orbs that you need. Uh, again, recommend to not run um, or not use the potential orbs until you collected enough of them. Uh, the paths are the same. Left path, path is small orbs, middle path is large, or a uh, medium, and right path is large. Uh, once you go to the cloud, it comes over the first set of uh, little uh, pads are going to be small, second set of pads are medium, last set of pads are large. Then you face either Rakum or Thouser. If you get a Thouser, it's a guaranteed Rakum job. If you don't, you can get it, or a training item, typically it is a physical Z-sword, or uh, whatever uh, level of the event you're going up against at that time, so like Jice would be strength um, training items and stuff like that. Uh, total potential orbs needed is going to be 5,700 or uh, 5,800 really uh, small, 3,170 medium, and 305 large. It doesn't take too long. It usually takes about, I'd say, 250 to 300 stamina total. Um, that's probably about on average of what it would take for you to run the event. Uh, activate the Rakum's potential 100%. You get a Grand Elder Kai plus all the other stuff. You need to run it 30 times like all the other events I have stated. Once you get it 30 times, um, you will get all the medals required to Doken Awaken him to a TUR. Highly recommend doing that. You really want to do that for everyone. Uh, but when you get all five, and this is uh, honestly at the time of this video, for the global side, this is the last member. That's why I started off the video with the last one uh, to get to 100% because if you've been doing it all week long, I only did Captain Ginyu. Uh, and Jice. I think Captain Ginyu and Jice are the only two that I got to 100%. Uh, but Jice, I still need to run it like two more times in order to get the 30 times to get the last medal so Doken Awake in him. Um, but what you want to do is get all these guys to 100%, then you get this LR Ginyu. Uh, we are going to save him for a separate video. We're going to talk about him. Something really crazy to talk about, but we will talk about him. Uh, I'll probably release that one on Monday because I need to release the other two videos for you guys um, on Saturday and Sunday for the other two Ginyu Force members, just so that way it's in the arsenal for those of you who may need it. Um, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and talk about the Raccoon card. Uh, Sprightly Swoop in Raccoon. Now, this card is... Uh, all their leader abilities are the same, except for their specific attribute type. Uh, it is physical type key plus one, HP and attack plus 25%. Super attack, Raccoon, eraser gun, causes extreme damage and lowers defense. Passive skill, tough and terrible. Defense plus 70%, attack plus 10% with each attack received up to 50%. Uh, so you need to get attacked five times. Uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. But hey, it is there. Um, he lowers the enemy's defense. It's not a greatly lower. So honestly, uh, just from this alone, you're probably going to want to give him crits. Um, I mean, you can give him additionals, but it makes no sense in my opinion to do that. Just because you're just lowering his defense, uh, the defense of the opponent. So it, again, not really my opinion. No, that's what I don't think you should do. I really think you should do crits, uh, but do what you want to. Laying skills are going to be Ginyu Force, Signature Pose, Brutal Beatdown, tough, Toughest Nails, and In Fighter. Categories are Planet Namek Saga, Ginyu Force, and Max Unlocked Potential is HP of 11,405, Attack of 9062, and Defense of 9565. Um, 12 key multipliers, 130%. Uh, and the orbs we already talked about. You need the five medals, which I already told you about, in order to get him Doken Awakened. Again, you, in order to do that, you need to complete the event 30 times. And before we go over his TUR, I just want to say thank you for joining me here today. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and help show your support of the channel. I really appreciate it. And I've seen a big influx of you guys coming and subscribing to me. I really would like to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the month. If we can make that possible, that would be awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. We have the TUR Raccoon, Lethal Charge Raccoon. Uh, he is another, he's still a physical leader. Key plus two for physical types, HP attack and defense plus 30%. Uh, super attack is Raccoon Eraser Gun, the same. Uh, supreme damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, Sinister Survivor, defense plus 80%, which is actually really awesome. Attack plus 14%, which uh, for each attack received up to 70%. So when he crits, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Well, not a lot of damage, but for the type of team you're running, he'll be doing a decent amount of damage they'll be able to take on so many damn events it'll be awesome lane skills are the ginyu force signature pose brutal beatdown toughest nails in fighter and shattering the limit and the categories are planet namek saga ginyu and ginyu force 
Uh, max pot unlocked potential is going to be HP of 12,049, attack of 92,13, and defense of 78,83, with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. When you get him to super attack 10, obviously you want to do this before you Doken Awaken him, he will, his super attack multiplier ink does an additional 20% damage. Um, highly recommend doing crits again, I just want to make sure I reiterated that. Um, he's a pretty, pretty damn good unit. I do like him. Uh, Raccoon, I, honestly, personally, I like Birder and Jaisa. Those are my two favorite Ginyu Force members. Uh, maybe just because of the colors, but Captain Ginyu's personality is pretty damn awesome also. So uh, it's pretty difficult. I, I just like the Jaisa and, and Birder special when they do their special attack. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, that's all there is for the events for this week. Uh, in terms of this, this will be going on daily uh, well, for, the, for the rest of the lifespan of the game, most likely. And uh, again, I'm probably going to save this for the LR Ginyu Force video that I do. But honestly, I, this is really just a revamp of all the free-to-play strike cards. Just because those cards are so outdated and they really can't do anything. So these guys are there to kind of technically replace them. Um, one, but since this is the last guy, this is the card that you want to get. If you've been doing this daily um, throughout the week that this has been released, this is the LR Ginyu. Uh, again, we will talk about it at a different point in time, but Ginyu Force Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%, so he will be the Ginyu Force Leader, and he'll be doing a lot of damage. You can take on all of the Prime Battle events if you haven't done so already, and it'll go through really, really, really quick. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today. Make sure, again, to subscribe and help support the channel if you are new. I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace out.